Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Mark Santos and welcome to my first tutorial. And in this video, I will show you how to use Mixkit template in Premiere Pro. Mixkit offers a lot of free assets that you can use for your projects. So let's get into the video. First, open up your browser and go to mixkit.co. Here you can see that they have free assets of stock video, stock music, and video templates. And in this video, we will cover some basic templates for Premiere Pro that you can use for your videos. So we go to templates at the upper right, select the drop down arrow, and choose Premiere Pro. Here you have the titles, transitions, lower thirds, callouts, openers, YouTube, Instagram, and tag. In this video, we will just cover the titles, lower thirds, and openers closers that is commonly used for videos. Let's begin. First, we go to titles. Now this title framed in a square is what I am currently using. It's very simple, that's why I chose this one. But in this sample, we will choose quick bold title. We're going to download this, then we will go to the lower thirds. And here we will choose simple button third. Download that. Then we go to YouTube. This is what I am currently using right now, the animated play button because at the end of this clip, I can have this black half and there I can show my other recommended videos to watch in my channel. But here we will choose rotating play button opener. Download that. And we will add this like, subscribe, and notify clip. Now let's go to Premiere Pro. Open up your Premiere Pro. As you can see, I have already segregated the downloads so that it would be easier for us to identify which is which. Open your titles folder and here you have the download. Extract that. Once it is extracted, you can do that to the rest of the folders. Here you can see I have extracted the rest. Here I have a video as a sample of our talking head when we are doing our talking head videos. I will drop that to the timeline. Move it a little to make a little space for our title or shall we say intro. Go to your essential graphics tab. Below right, you can see this add button which is the install motion graphics template. Select that. Open up the folder where you have saved or extracted your templates. I will choose the title. Open it up. Now if you see this yellow sign warning here, what it means is that you do not have the font installed for that template to work. Click on the info to find out what specific font that you need. Now you have a couple of ways to fix this. One, open your browser and search and download the font. Once you have selected a download site, just open your download and install the font package. You may need to save your project. Close your Premiere Pro and open it up again to apply the font changes. Another way is you can let Adobe update it when you see it prompt at your screen. And it will also say that it will use the current font that is available in your computer. Just try to find out what will work for you. And once it's there, at the right side, you can see the main controls, text controls, BG controls. 
Main controls let you adjust the text position and the size. Double clicking the circle will give you the default value. In text control, we can change the text to what we wanted. Here I will change this to welcome and I will speed it up to change the rest. Now we are done with the title. Let's get into the lower thirds. Just like what we did in the title, go to Essential Graphics and search for the lower third template that we downloaded. Once we have it, drag it to your project. As you can see, it is not in the right position. So what we will do is adjust the X and Y positions and adjust the size. We can also change the text, but I will not do that. I will just let him be Gemma Lauren for this demo. Now let's get into the end screen. Just like the title and lower thirds, go to Essential Graphics and search for our end screen template. Drag it to your project and change it to your name or the title of your channel. And that's it! Let's play it from the start. But of course, it would not be a video for YouTube without the like, subscribe, and notification reminder. Again, let us go to Essential Graphics. Search for the template. Drag it to your project. Unlink so that we eliminate the audio from the template. Delete the audio track. And let's play it. It's almost good, but of course we need to add music to make it lively. Now open up your browser and let's open Epidemic Sound. If you want to try this music source, I will link it at the description below. Let's go to search, select sound effects, now let's look for mouse click. I like this mouse click one, download that, and let's look for a building. Download that, go back to our project. Make a folder for our sound effects. Copy the download here. Drop it to our project. Open the SFX folder. Now look for the spot where the mouse clicks on the icons. Drop the mouse click here. And here, drop the building here, and let's play it. I'm still not satisfied. Maybe let's add some background music and let's see how it sounds. I'll drop a music, also from Epidemic Sound. Cut it until where the video is and let's play the final edit.
And that's it! This is how you use Mixkit template for your Premiere Pro. So if you like this video and you get something out from this, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed, turn on the notification so that you will know every time I uploaded a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time!